Joe James and in this video we're going to cover the Linux history. So it's a nice time saver in Linux to be able to look at the history and uh, learn some shortcuts to execute history commands again. Uh, but it's also nice to be able to look at let's say a sequence of commands that you issued in the past and in case you want to repeat that those series of commands or something. So the most basic history command is just the up arrow. So by typing the up arrow you get the last command that was issued and the down arrow gives you the, the one after that. Up arrow gives you the previous command, down arrow will give you the next command. So you can scroll through your history of commands just using up and down arrows, which is nice. And then if you get to a command and you want to edit it, let's say find min depth 4, I want to change that to min depth 3, you can use the left and right arrows to edit that command. So the up and down arrows are a great time saver in Linux, and that's the most basic fundamental thing you need to know. Now you can also type history, and you can see the entire history of your commands with a number, a sequence number next to it. Or you can type history in, where in is a number. So let's say history 5 if I want to see the last 5 commands, or history 10 if I want to see the last 10 commands. That's nice if you have a few thousand commands in your history and you only want to see the most recent 10 or 20 or so. Or you can type history more, pipe that to more, and it will show only one page at a time. And then you can use the space bar to scroll through those. Next page, next page. Each time you put your space bar, you get the next page of commands. So you can type the uh, history, you can pipe that into the tail command. Let's say you've, you only want to see the last 10 commands in history. Uh, you need the tail dash 10 or dash 20 or whatever. However, this seems a little clunkier than just typing history 10. So I don't see a whole lot of benefit in piping into tail. Now, if you wanted to execute one of these items from history, let's say number 84, we just want to do clear. We can do uh, bang 84. That's an exclamation point. Exclamation point 84 will execute history uh, command number 84. So let's show the history again. And so if we want to uh, execute, let's say, 74 ls, that will show us the directory. We can type bang 74. Boom, that shows us the, the directory of the current folder. Then also with the bang command, we can use bang, and then we can type a string or a partial string. And it's going to look for, let's say I type bang cl, it will look for the last command that starts with cl, which in this case is clear. So we'll do clear. And if we type bang fi, we'll look for the last find command, which is number 83. So bang fi is going to do the same thing that is, yeah, it does a find min depth 3. So the same thing is 83. And if we have a really long history, uh, we could search the history using control R. So we just type the control plus R. And then we can type in a string or a substring. Uh, let's say, in this case, let's say find. And then we can try, we could press Control R again, and it will scroll through each of the commands that have that substring in it. So find, it's going to look through all of our history that includes that substring find, and that's it. And then if you want to execute one, you can press Enter, execute the find command, or Control R, let's say uh, L, now Control R, L, S. So we found something with an L in it and we got the uh, the ls command. So if we just press enter it'll execute this command but we can use the right or left arrows if we want to edit this command. So here we use the right arrow and we can say ls dash l which is nice if we have a much longer command. Uh, if we're doing a, a long detailed search or something using the grep we've got a long hairy command then, uh, then being able to find and edit commands that way is pretty handy. So again, that's control R, and then you just start typing a substring in it. Uh, we can type history, and then you can use control R again to cycle through each of the commands that start with H-I-S-T. And then right or left arrow to select one and make edits to it. If we wanted to clear our history, we could do history dash C. I'm not going to push enter here because I don't want to wipe out my history, but that works. And if we want to show the uh, time and date stamp in history, we can do export hist time format e equals open single quote percent f space percent t and then close single quote. And now when we do a history command, 
That will show us a time and date stamp for each history command. So this is nice if you want to see commands executed some time ago, exactly what time and date they were executed. Make sure you practice a little using these, uh, the history command so that you can get used to it. These are great time savers in Linux. If you like this video, click the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.